Okay, so part four. Um, before I realised it had stopped, um, all I've done is uh, I've put a little bit more of this lovely rustic colour on there. Um, again, just scrumbling it over the top, picking out all the fern, um, the dead bracken that's down there. And then I've used, if you look at the colours, I've used a very close um, lighter tone. It's very close to that. And if you stick to that rule and you don't jump too light, such as straight to a colour, sorry, I'm trying to clean it, a straight to a colour like that is a bit of a big jump. I have used that, but it's purely for highlights, okay? So um, you can see it's these two colours that I've used to, to build up some sort of formation with these this bracken, okay? Um, and that's all I've done, really. I haven't done anything else. I've reinforced the trees there. I don't know whether you captured that or not. Um, right, okay. So it's just all it is now um, is just building up where the bracken is and uh, reinforcing where you want the bracken. Again, it's all down to preference. I might even end the picture. I might not go as far as the bottom that I've got there. Seems to be a long drop from the trees and I could have gone longer, but that's how I've decided to do it so and i'm not I'm not really going down to detail i'm still only just putting mapping and the colors on um so don't worry too much about detail at this point um just start looking at where all the light the light spots are with this bracken i say so i'm going to shut up now so that you can Follow what I'm doing, hopefully. It won't just suddenly cut out again. And now you know why I do them on Facebook and put links to Facebook. It really is disappointing when you, you know, you're trying to create something special for people and um, there's these restrictions. And I know why, it's all about money. Um, But it just, I don't know. Anyway, staying upbeat, let's continue to build up these bracken then. And I'm, I am starting to get into a little bit of detail, but that's me all over. I do like going to detail, as you know if you've heard me before. Right, so, I mean, you go into detail when you're ready. Okay, I'm just putting some... Um, I'm still mapping really. I'm I'm putting a little bit of detail in there, but you can see um the light of those the sun coming through there. I'm trying to always remembering that that sunlight is coming through those trees. Okay? Right. I have to keep looking at the screen. Check that it's still filming because if I don't I'm lose you I can carry on for a while before I pick it up. Right, so I'm liking the looks of that. It's not a two minute picture. And we may I may even do some more. I mean we've got we'll have four parts on here today. Um because at some point I like to walk away and and do some other things. And then you come back and see it with fresh eyes. That is a definite um, tip that I can give you that really, really works. And you'll often find it yourself. Um, you've come back and um, I find it in a lot of things, actually. I'm doing a jigsaw at the moment. <laughs> and there's this one piece. We cannot find this one piece. And I walked away, um, came back, and there it was. It right in front of me. So relate this back to painting I can't see it why is it not doing what I want it to do and then all of a sudden it does um, and I can only think it's you just see it with different eyes um, and that's why when somebody when you see these painting competitions and they've all got the same um, subject the same photograph or, or whatever they're using but 
everybody, and there can be 20 people, but every one of those pictures are different. Everyone's different, and that's because we all see things um, slightly different. So, um, yeah. So it's got to be your interpretation of paintings. Um, because it, it will be different to mine. If you do this, you use this photograph, and I will put this photograph on. If you use this photograph, you will come up with a different picture. And even doing it following me um, on here, you'll still come up with a different, uh, your, your impression of this photograph. Now, don't forget, as we recede into... Uh, those trees or further in the distance things will be less um, less bright everything gets duller as it goes in the distance and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start um, putting some that is very 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 pale blue and it's what the sky is made up of so and I've decided to leave quite a bit just there not in the picture and it looks like white but it's not and then you can start coming down and using this pastel start cutting into those trees okay you start cutting into those trees to give you 